This week's Sports Star Spotlight takes us to the state of Washington, a couple of hours east of Seattle, to meet one of the most exciting players in the country. Haley Van Lith can do absolutely anything on a basketball court. The senior guard from Kashmir High School is one of the best players in the 2020 class, and her highlight videos are always a hit on social media. I mean, everybody sees her skills and you watch her in these Twitter clips and social media stuff and you see how skilled she is and you're like, wow, you know, that girl can flat, she can play. What goes unnoticed a lot with her is just how smart she is and a student of the game, how she understands things and sees and reads and understands uh, defenses and how to attack them and just a tremendous coach on the floor. Learning how to be a leader has been one of the biggest learning curves for me, especially in high school. My freshman year I was the starting point guard and there was four other seniors starting with me and I had to learn how to lead the team and gain that confidence to push them and like have them trust me as a young freshman. And that's just really been a hard journey for me because I'm not always the loudest player on the court. Um, but I have kind of blossomed into this like natural leader now. Her talent and athleticism come from several years of hard work with her father. When Haley was little, like she was like in fourth grade. She, I remember she came up to me and was like, hey, I, dad, I want to be the best ever. Like, what do we do for I, me to be the best? And she was like fourth grade. And all I, I just knew, I was like, oh, Haley, I've got a plan and here's what we're going to do. I was like, you got to buy into the process of becoming great. And it's not easy, man. It's a day-to-day -day grind. So I put together this plan and man, she bought in early. Like she bought in and she was willing to do anything. It's crazy to think, but my dad is the only person that's ever trained me. He's literally taught me everything I know about basketball. So whenever you watch me play, like that's a result of what my dad has worked on me with. And it's just been cool to get to work with him. I've been working with him since I was probably seven, eight, you know? And so now I'm 18 and like, look where this has got us. One thing, I was straight up with Haley and I believed in it and it was no disrespect to women's basketball but I was like my deal with her I was like Haley you're gonna learn to play basketball we're not gonna play girls basketball or boys but you're gonna learn to play basketball the way it's meant to be played and it's you can be athletic girls are athletic and the ga girls games changed in the last in the last five years but even the last 10 years it's just so different they're so much more athletic and so we worked on that and, it, and you're, you were going to play fast and you don't need to play slow you're going to go tack the rim you're going to jump hang twist your body and finish draw contact and go through people you know and have swag have an attitude you make it and one and let them know Haley's skills have earned her recognition not just locally but across the country and even around the world she's already scored more than 2,000 career points at cashmere and she was Washington's Gatorade Player of the Year last season as a junior. She's represented her country multiple times with USA Basketball, and she has won four gold medals. She's even earned the respect of some of the biggest names in basketball. She met Kobe Bryant here, and he reached out to her and wanted her to come down and meet her and train with her a little bit. And, but I knew we were onto something when he watched her work out for about five, 10, 20 minutes, and he turned around and walked up to me. He was like, man, she's special. Nobody moves like her. I've never seen anybody move like her. And when Kobe Bryant tells you you're doing, you're special, like you're doing something right. I think Kyrie is one of my favorite players ever. And not only is he fun to watch, we kind of have the same playing style. And I just like try to learn. And I still watch videos of him. Like I actually got to meet him, which was amazing. Like I tears welled up in my eyes because I just idolize him. But I did get to talk basketball with him. I actually got to sit down and have lunch with him. Um, and mostly just like talking about his mentality and how it's been with him in the league and like going to different teams and learning how to play with different players was something that we talked about a lot. We kind of live through Haley. Our whole team does, our whole community does, our town does, and, and we're pretty proud of her. You know, not just our, our coaching staff and our team and this school and the teachers and administrators, but our town is kind of associated with her. She's kind of given us a really neat identity and put us on the map, if you will. Haley is committed to play college basketball at Louisville. With a college scholarship, USA gold medals, and praise from NBA stars, Haley has accomplished almost everything that a high school basketball player can dream of. But there's one last thing she wants before she leaves Kashmir. We've never won a girl's state title. My freshman year and my sophomore year, I got second in state. And last year, we got third. So we've been really, really close. 
every year that I've been here, but like we've never made it, you know? And like I can win as many gold medals as I want and that'll be a great feeling each time playing for your country, but like this is my community, this is where I'm from, you know? like. I want to rep them and I want to bring a state title home for them. And so this year is our last year and uh, we've obviously got to do something we've never done before to win that state title. So we're going to figure it out and we're going to bring it home for Kashmir because they deserve it for sure. I think we have a great shot of, of being pretty successful and having a great year. Uh, but it is going to have to be a team thing. It's going to have to be five girls. But uh, we're going to have a great chance. We're excited. We're looking forward to it. There's a lot of people that don't want to see her win it, uh, but there's a lot of people pulling for her. So it's going to be fun, and it is what it is. I mean, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But like I said, I like our chances. When Haley's on the floor, we got a good shot.